afternoon, everybody. It's Mark again, Weatherman Plus. It is Sunday, September 6th. God bless you all today. I hope you have a, a great Sunday today. Uh, upload was a little late for me today because if you see, we have some severe storms in the Midwest today. Uh, this is your, your uh, outlook for your convective. The most severe is right here in Milwaukee where I'm at. We actually are under a three for tornado warning. Uh, inside the yellow is a two. Now, if you watch as the storm goes by today, it goes all the way toward Chicago, and then later on this evening, uh, it does stop down, but then it, it creates another problem for Michigan later this afternoon. It puts a lot of thunderstorms all in the path, and it will go all afternoon for you. Uh, it also stretches down to Illinois and Indiana as well. Uh, you do have some bad hail cores within this system, so, so be aware of these severe storms. And there is a lot of dam damage and wind, as you can see, uh, pushing through this storm and bowing it out. Now, tomorrow you'll have the same problem. We have some, some storms popping up over here by Kansas and Iowa, and it's also got some in the northeast. But these storms is going to go ahead towards Illinois and Indiana as well, and these are some severe storms. And if when I click forward, because this is only a 60-hour run, you can see it's a lot of heavy rainfall. It looks like it's coming my way again as well. Now this right here, this is your winter forecast of what we're going to be having. It's going to be, this is mostly a higher elevations, uh, but there is going to be some heavy snowfall. I mean, you got up to 12, 13 inches. Uh, I even saw a 14 somewhere in there. But there's a lot of heavy snowfall in this uh, snowstorm that is going to be coming. So 7 to 8 inches, it goes all the way up to 13. But like I said, these are all higher elevations. Uh, actual cities on the sides of these might see an inch or two, probably an inch. I uh, highly doubt that it, it would be much more than that. But when you see it and fast forward, I mean, you'll see the storms come in, but you can, you'll see the snow does fall down, and it goes right on down with this storm system when this cold front comes down. So that's something definitely to watch out for. If you are in this area, you will be seeing snow soon. We're talking as early as Tuesday. Now, as you see, it all falls down in the last shot. You see it all the way onto the bottom. Uh, these temperatures are actually going to get a little colder for this, so that's pretty nice. Uh, the West Coast is actually is going to be under a scorcher uh, before these temperatures uh, do come. Now, if you look, let me show you what's going on. We also got something going on also uh, in the, the tropics that kind of started up uh, this morning. Now this is your weather for right now, and this is your lightning that's, that's with these storms. You can see it does have some bad lightning uh, coming with it as it goes to Illinois and Indiana. So please be aware this storm does have lightning, severe storms, and then you see the bowing out right there. So it is going to be some bad winds with that as well. But we have a new little thing coming up in the tropics right here. It has a 20% chance of disturbance. Uh, I did show that some, some uh, North North Carolina is going to be getting some rainfall from that within the next few days, looking like Tuesday. But as far as past that, I didn't look past yet. Uh, these are still the same, 80 and 90, and this is actually the one that I showed you in the tropical update yesterday that was the hurricane that was headed towards the East Coast. So that's pretty much what's happening in a nutshell. I mean, it is the update that is going on uh, with the, uh, the tropics and that that invests uh, with a new area to watch right off the coast of the Carolinas that just popped up a few hours ago uh, that is something very new now, if you want to see the run that I did yesterday on the tropical update you can check it out it is on my channel I did it last night now this is Sunday and of course you know this, this is a very uh, religious day I mean some people say the Sabbath is Saturday uh, the first day was actually Sunday but we are going to praise God today because this is a day that we know of. Now I'm going to talk to you about Psalms 50. I love Psalms because it praises God, but mostly Psalms 50 is God giving us a message. The divine one, God, Jehovah, has himself spoken. And he proceeds to call the earth from the rising of the sun until its setting. Out of Zion, the perfection of prettiness, God himself has beamed forth. Our God will come and cannot possibly keep silent. Be before him, there devours a fire. And all around him, it has, it has become exceedingly stormy weather. 
He calls to the heavens above and to the earth so as to execute judgment on his people. Gather to me my loyal ones, those concluding my covenant over sacrifice. And the heavens tell us uh, of his righteousness, for God him, himself is judge. Salah. Do listen, O my people, and I will speak. O Israel, I will bear witness against you. I am God, your God. Not concerning your sacrifices do I reprove you, nor concerning your whole burnt offerings that are in front of me constantly. I will not take out of your house a bull, out of your pens he goats. For to me belongs every wild animal of the forest, the beasts upon a thousand mountains. I well know every winged creature of the mountains and the animal throngs of the open field are with me. If I were hungry, I would not say it to you, for to me the, the productive land and its fullness belong. Shall I eat the flesh of powerful bulls and the blood of he goats shall I drink? Offer thanksgiving as your sacrifice to God and pay to the Most High your vows? And call me in the day of distress, I shall rescue you. And you will glorify me. But to the wicked one, God will have to say, What right do you have to enumerate my regulations? And that you may bear my covenant in your mouth. Why, you, you have hated discipline. And you keep throwing my words behind you. Whenever you saw a thief, you were even pleased with him. And your sharing was with adulterers. Your mouth you have let loose to what is bad. And your tongue you keep attached to deception. You sit and speak against your own brother. Against the son of your mother you give away a fault. These things you have done and I kept silent. You imagine that I would positively come like you. I am going to reprove you and I will set things in order before your eyes. Understand this please you forgetters of God. That I may not tear you to pieces without there being any deliverer. The one offering thanksgiving as his sacrifice is the one that glorifies me. And as for the one keeping us set away, I will cause him to see salvation by God. Amen. God bless you all today. I hope you all have a great day. It is Sunday. So please, praise God. Man, if anything, open up your Bible. Praise God today. Thank him for everything. Thank you for just being alive today. Amen. So bless you all. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you all. Uh, if you're in this snow path over there in Denver or Montana or Wyoming, and you're in one of those higher elevations, and enjoy that snow because that's definitely the first one coming. Okay, Y'all have a, a great day today.